In this tutorial, we will be taking a look at a recommendation system. Our goal will be to generate a list of the top 20 books to be recommended to new users. To accomplish this, we will use a dataset containing numerical ratings that other users have given and the IMDB formula. This formula is the one that the movie review site IMDB uses to rank movies based on user reviews. To follow along or to find more details, you can also find this workflow in the sample project called Recommendations. Here we have our data set. This contains a user ID, the ISBN number, or a book's unique identifier, and the rating that the user provided. Here at the top, we can also find the variables that we need to generate to use the IMDB formula. The first is the number of votes for each product or book in this case, the minimum number of votes required to be in the chart. For us, this is one, the average rating of the product or each book, and the mean votes across the whole report, which in our case is 7.601. This is the average rating of all books. The first thing we do in our workflow is use the filter by number range node. This is to remove ratings with a value of zero, since that is not a valid rating in our system. Next, we need to generate some of the variables that are required to apply our formula. We, use this, we do this by using the group by note to generate aggregate statistics. We first group by the ISBN or the book's unique identifier, and then we generate a count for the book rating and the average value of the book rating. This will give us two of our components. This will give us V, the number of votes for each product, and R, the average rating of the product. As an intermediary step, we will also rename those columns. This is just to make it easier to apply our formula in the next step. Next, we use the math expression node. This is where we actually apply our formula. We use the values V and R that we generated earlier, the value one, which we set at the beginning, and 7.601, which we also generated at the beginning. Next, to create a list, we also need to sort our list. We do this by using the sort by node. We sort the, our new weighted rating that we generated using math expression in a descending order. Next, we can graph our values and we can print out our list to generate our final uh, top 20 books. Here, the only thing we have done is to rename it using the title and we have reset the maximum number of values from 10 to 20. Now we can execute this workflow. Here in the execution page, we can see that after we group the, the values by ISBN, we generate a count for each book and an average rating. These were two of our variables. Next, after some intermediary steps and using math expression, we generate our weighted rating. This is the weighted rating that was generated using V and R, which have now been renamed. And finally, we can generate our top 20 books to recommend. As you can see, this list relies not only on the average rating of each product, but also the number of ratings that were given. And this gives us our weighted rating. Thank you for listening.